Hi guys, it's Krista from Playing With A Purpose. Today I'm going to share with you my January classroom. So we're doing a winter theme right now and our four weekly topics is snow, winter animals, pajamas, and hockey. So let me show you what the classroom looks like. In our sensory bin, I just made some cloud dough. The conditioner I used smells like coconut and and it smells amazing. I t added a touch of glitter so you can see that it sparkles a little bit. And then I just added some blue blocks that they could make, maybe a castle. And I added some snowflakes. And there's different characters from the movie Frozen. I also added these little trees that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So it's super simple. I also left some letters. I find the children are constantly picking them up and recognizing the letters. So I love just adding a few letters here and there in the classroom. Over here, we have a hockey skating rink. I made a little Zamboni. I just put it together with some red construction paper and I printed up a picture of a Zamboni. And then I have a Build-A-Bear that has hockey clothing. So put him in there. And then our writing center I kept super simple because after the holidays, I wanna keep things kinda low key for the first week or two. And so I've just put in some little Etch-a-Sketches. And so there's enough for all of the children to have one. And I threw some little word cards if they wanted to practice their letters. And then up here, I have a basket with some helmets. We're gonna call them helmets. And we're pretending the black socks are skates. And these are our hockey gloves. And this was a package of tape that was finished. And I just painted it last year black. And so this is our puck. And I love it because it slips along the ice really well, but it's not gonna hurt anybody. And it works perfect. I have a little hockey book and some pylons and some hockey sticks. We're gonna be doing a science experiment a little bit later this week, but it's not something I'm gonna leave out all week. So I put a little snow felt activity at the table for now. Typically what I do is I put all the pieces inside so it leaves a little provocation for the children to dress the snowman. Over here on our puzzle shelf, we have lots of winter related puzzles. So this one's really neat. It has lots of different winter related pictures. And on the back, it has a little snow scene. So you can play with the little puzzle pieces on the back and it's magnetic. And then here are some more winter related puzzles. I have another, another one here, this one's frozen. So you also notice I put a lot of different skill levels out so they progress from just four pieces to several pieces to 12 pieces and then 22 and 24 pieces so all the different skill levels are represented here and so the children can work through those and then here i just got this over the holidays at the boxing day sale and i thought it was super cute it's a little igloo Here's a little polar bear and they have super cute names. This guy's Vanilla Bean. This is Puffins the Penguin. And, and this little guy is called Shivers the Fish. So I thought they were super cute names and I think they'll be great for imaginative play. So here's the Melissa and Doug Snowman. This one's actually pretty tricky to do. They have to learn how to put the half circles together to make a ball. So the way they can figure it out, the largest one fit together and there are no designs on it. The middle ones have designs and so they fit together. And then there's a scarf, a head, and then a hat. I do find a lot of the times the children have a hard time putting this together and it's more challenging than you might think. I kept this tree out. We had it out for Christmas, but the children really played with it almost every day. So I decided to keep it out for another month. It's made by Plan Toys and I love it. You can talk about the shades of color. You can talk about size. It has a lot of learning value. 
I have this cute little winter jack-in-the-box. It's a little polar bear. Over here, I have the abominable snowman. I got this guy last year in the Boxing Day sales. He's so soft, and I just thought he was super cute to put out in the winter. I put out a basket full of winter colored Lego and this little car toy. I also put out these little Mega Bloks cars. I think these are fantastic. The kids can mix them up and they can make all different kinds of cars. And so they just take them out. So I purposely put out a mix of different colors, but I didn't put two of the same type of colors. So I thought this would help the younger students to be able to recognize the colors and put them together. So here I have a basket full of snowballs so we can have indoor snowball fights. So over here I just have a little snowy owl and I have some different jackets hanging here because during circle we're going to be reading the jacket I wear in the snow and so I brought down a couple of different types of jackets to introduce the story. And over here we have some of our winter books. Some of our books are over in my cabinet over here. What I like to do is I like to get as much prepared as possible ahead of time. So the first day we're gonna be reading the jacket I wear in the snow and we have a little activity we're gonna be doing with it. And we're gonna be also reading That's Not My Snowman. Tuesday we're gonna be reading The Snowy Day and we have some activities that we're gonna be doing. Snowman at night. So I like to put everything I'm gonna need inside the drawers. I find by doing this, it makes me feel a little more organized and the day runs a little smoother. When I'm finished, I return the books back to the shelf for the month. So over in my block center, I just made a little snowman that the children can build and dress up. His little nose comes off and it just goes back on with Velcro and his little ear muffs. I just took a shower curtain and I grabbed three different sized boxes and wrapped them up. And then over here, I just put out a Zamboni. I kept out our magnet tiles, and then I put out some different winter people. Here I have some of the Paw Patrol pups, and the little pups have little sleds that they can go tobogganing on. And I also have some little ski people, and they can go either skiing, or snowboarding, or tobogganing. And then I have some giant snowballs and some snowmen. I, I also put up this ramp so that the children could make a tobogganing hill or a ski hill. And then I also added a few different, added some blocks that I've covered with tin foil or white paper and also some trees and some wood blocks. And I'm hoping that the children will be inspired to make some different animal habitats when we talk about the different winter animals. One of the stories we're gonna be reading is Bear Snores On. It's a super cute story about the bear that hibernates. In the story, the hare stokes the fire. And so um, I've just added some of the characters in this basket so the children have an opportunity to act some of it out. And I put the Grimm's fire out as well. And I'm hoping some of these pieces will inspire the children to make a little bear den. Over here, I just made a very simple big and small sorting board using different snowflake window clings. And so the children can just take these off and then put them back where they belong. Because my children are still very young, I always like to have an example beside the word so that they can see that they're sorting small and big. For January, I rearranged my kitchen and we are going to have, have a hot drink cafe. I got these printables off of Teachers Pay Teachers. So this is what it looks like. And I, I used as many labels as I could. I used to tape these sort of things on, but I find it just as easy to just lay it flat. And when it's time to clean up, the children help me do it and they seem to know how to set it up and I love that they're labeled with both the words and the pictures 
and it really helps the children organize their toys when it's time for cleanup. Last month, because it was Christmas, we had a lot of cookies out. And so I wanted to change things up, so I used the Learning Resources letter cookies. The children will be exposed to a lot more letters when they play with these. I've also added a hot and cold sign for the children. And I just tucked our little stroller right in that little nook. And then I've put my slide back. I've dressed all the dolls in some winter clothing. So this guy's got a little toque and a big furry coat. And over here, I purchased some slippers at the dollar store and we have different types of mittens to wear and, and different hats. And here I have, I bought these also at the Dollarama and I'm hoping that we can pretend to use them as snow pants and then up here we have some scarves and then these guys are all dressed in their winter pajamas and this little doll has a winter snowsuit. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my January classroom. I'm Krista with Playing With A Purpose. I'll see you next time.